Hey guys, uh, today is day four of the Challenging and Contemporary Insights for Men. Uh, today's devotional is uh, titled God's uh, Greatest Desires that, the Lord, that We Love Him and Lord uh, and Love Those Around Us. While the rest of the world is focused on climbing the corporate ladder, God wants His children to focus on pleasuring Him. Our lives are measured by how we love God and others and not by how high we can climb. The object of life, according to Jesus, is breathtakingly simple. Be rich toward God. Don't spread your life trying to climb the corporate ladder. It's a soccer's game. <coughs> Excuse me. In your, life's, um, your life with God's help can be the source of pleasure to God of the universe. You can make God smile. When the game is over, all that will matter will be God's assessment on, your, on our lives. Venture capitalists and Hollywood stars and school janitors and uh, Somalian tribesmen will stand in line before him on level ground. So everyone's going to be on the same playing field when we get judged by God. Being rich toward God means growing a soul that is increasingly healthy and good. Being rich toward God mean, means loving and enjoying the people around you. Being rich toward God also means uh, learning about your gifts and your passions and doing what is good. Um... Work to help improve the world. Being rich toward God also means being generous with your stuff. Being rich towards God means making that which is temporary uh, become the uh, servant of which is eternal. Being rich uh, toward God means uh, savoring every roll of the dice and every trip around the board. Each of these dimensions of richness matter, but Jesus expresses uh, riches, riches, richness in two great commandments, each built around a single word, love. Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. He said, also, love your neighbor as yourself. Everything else is commentary. No one can do this and be poor in God's eyes. No one can fail to do this and be rich in God's eyes. Being rich toward God begins with giving to God that which he desires most of all. And what he desires most from you is your heart and your devotion. Bring to life... Do you give God the attention that he deserves? If you love him unconditionally, not only will you grow uh, in giving him the adoration he deserves, but your affection um, for others will also grow as well. Um, Mark 12, 18 um, says this. Then the Sadducees, S-A-D-D-U-C-E-E-S, -E -E um, who says there is no resurrection, uh, come to him with a question. Teacher, they said, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies and leaves a wife but no children, the man must marry the widow and raise up offspring for his brother. Verse 20. Now there are seven brothers. The first one married and died without leaving any children. The second one married the widow, but he died leaving no child. It was the same with the third. The fact none of the seven left any children. Last of all, the woman died too. At the resurrection, uh, whose wife she will be, since uh, the seven were married to her. Jesus replied, Are you not in error because you do not know what the scripture or the power of God know the scripture or the power of God? When the dead rise they will neither marry nor be given in marriage. They will be like angels in heaven. Now about the dead rising, have you not read the book of Moses? In the count of the burning bush, how how God said to him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He's not the God of the dead, but uh, of the living. You're badly mistaken. One of the teachers of the law came and heard him debating. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked, Of all the commandments, which is the most important? Mark 12, 29. The, Lord, uh, the most important one, Jesus answered, said, is this. Hear, o Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Mark 12, 30 says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second one is this. Love the uh, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Well said, teacher, the man replied. You are right in the saying that God is one and there is no uh, other but him. To love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, and with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is more important than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw this, that he had answered wisely, he said to them, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And from then, then on, no one dared ask him any more questions. Um, Deuteronomy 6, 5 says this, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. 
So, with that being said, guys, I hope you guys are able to take away um, the best to love everyone, no matter what is going on. Especially with everything that's going on currently with the violent protests and the peaceful protests. Spread the message of love to each other. And with that being said, never quit, never give up, keep your head up high, and never surrender. Have a great day.